So you're ready to start your clothing brand, you're ready to ship out all these orders and make all this money selling clothes, but you only got $200 to your name. Don't worry, it's not a lot, but we can make it work. So in today's video, I'm about to be teaching you how to start your clothing brand with $200. Today I'm going to be discussing a topic that may be very sensitive for clothing brand owners because I know a lot of clothing brand owners be trying to gatekeep and they don't really want to give y'all the sauce and really give y'all the information on how easy it may be to start a clothing brand. So I don't want to waste too much of y'all time. I got a notepad full of sauce I'm about to give you to teach y'all how to start your clothing brand with only $200. All right, so the first step before you even decide that you're going to go spend some money on some things, you are going to want to do some extensive research. When I first started my clothing brand on a budget, I spent a lot of time researching on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok because the issue is that if you don't have a lot of money you're going to make a lot of mistakes and you really can't afford to make a lot of mistakes so you got to learn as much information as possible to of course avoid those costly mistakes so before you get started with your logo before you get started with your name spend some time researching some fabrics some manufacturing type different type of clothing brands just spend a whole lot of time doing a whole lot of research and gathering a whole lot of information on the type of clothing brand that you want to start after you spend a whole lot of time doing some research we can go ahead and get into the official step number one one which would be getting your first official clothing brand logo the reason that the logo is so so important because it basically resembles your whole entire clothing brand when people go on your website they're going to see your logo when people go to your Instagram they're going to see your logo when people go to your TikTok, they're going to see your logo so you want to make sure that your logo stands out and it is unique what I do if I was starting my clothing brand with $200 I wouldn't want to spend too much money on a logo so I would try myself to go study Photoshop after doing some YouTube research on Photoshop I would go to this app called PhotoP it's just like Photoshop and I would go in there and try to design my own logo but unfortunately if you don't have any design experience you are going to have to hire a designer the good thing about designers is that they are not very costly there are all different types of designers that charge all different types of prices so you can head to the app Fiverr look up logo design and find something within a budget between 10 to 25 dollars try not to spend no more than 25 dollars on this if you guys want to dm an instagram designer you can do that as well i got a good designer for y'all his at is at tunes std on instagram so go ahead and get that logo make sure it's bold make sure it stands out do not spend no more than 25 dollars on it either design it yourself or hire a designer like i just said but now let's get into step number two step number two is even more important than step number one because we are going to get into the actual designing process the designing process is so important because this is the actual piece of art that you will put out to the world that people will actually buy. So I definitely encourage you guys to lock in on this part of the section. Since you don't have a lot of money, you do not have a lot of inventory and space to just be messing up and throwing away designs. So I definitely recommend that you sketch something out that you like using inspiration from other brands and other people in the outside world. Sketch something up that you like and then try to create it on Photoshop if you got some experience. But if you don't, try to hire a designer on Fiverr or hire that person on Instagram that I just told you. This first design that you create is very, very important because it is a staple to your clothing brand. This design will kind of dictate if your brand will start off on a good spot or a rocky road. Most people when starting their clothing brand, they don't end up getting any sales and it's all because of design. So I definitely recommend that when you're starting your clothing brand, you find and create a design that is highly eye engaging. People do not want to see a basic logo with a basic text on the back. They can go buy a t-shirt for Nike for that. You definitely have to cook up something that is highly eye engaging and visually pleasing because that will also help with your marketing which we will get to later on after you went ahead and got your design made either you designed it yourself or you hired a designer you are going to want to get to the sample production process i am telling you all right now this process is huge this process right here is basically going to be the most costly part of starting your clothing brand with 200 dollars manufacturers will try to charge you 200 300 $500 for two t-shirt samples. I know when I first started, a manufacturer tried to charge me $300 for one t-shirt sample and he didn't even make it right. So it's important that y'all listen to this information in this game that I'm about to give y'all when it comes to finding manufacturers. Number one, since you are working on a tight budget, it's extremely important that you go and try to tap in with a Pakistan manufacturer versus a China manufacturer. China manufacturers are more strict and more about business, so they're not going to negotiate with you about the price and their sample production cost is going to be a lot higher than a Pakistan manufacturer. So I recommend that if you're just starting your brand out, that you tap in with a Pakistan manufacturer. If you're looking for manufacturers, you can find some on Instagram by just searching up your name of your product that you're trying to create and then manufacturer and a whole bunch are going to pop up. 
check out every single manufacturer on there, get on some video calls, check out their work, check out their quality, ask them a few questions about the whole manufacturing process, like how long is it going to take, how long is it going to ship, what's the shipping prices looking like, can they do custom bags, and so much more stuff. Just really get familiar with the manufacturing company that you're about to use, because this same manufacturing company is going to be the company that will actually produce your bulk order. Once you find a manufacturer, lock in with that manufacturer and try to get you one perfect sample made. The reason I say one perfect sample is because you want to test out the actual manufacturer's quality first before you go and order a bulk order, if that's what we plan on doing. Test out the manufacturer quality, go ahead and order you one sample, make sure your tech pack and your mock-up details and your design details are all sent to him, and make sure that you are very, very descriptive with your product. If you leave any room for confusion, he will mess up your sample, and it's a slim chance that he'll refund you or try to give you your money back, to be honest. If you guys need some manufacturers, you can go down to the second link inside my my description it'll be mindedy.com i got a list of 20 plus pakistan and china manufacturers that i've used personally for my clothing brand they have done wonderful work for me but if you want to do your own research that's fine too rolling into step number four will actually be creating your shopify website the reason that i made this step after your sample is because during your sample production process you want to start working on all the background things that you got to do and the first background thing that you got to work on is that shopify website so if you guys don't know, there is an affiliate link that you can use that is in the description to get Shopify for $1 a month. $1 a month, you can get Shopify so you don't gotta go and spend $40 a month to get started. You can just go down in the link in the description, tap the link and get Shopify started for $1 a month. With the Shopify website, it's also very, very important because this is where people are going to be to purchase your products. This is your actual store. Since you don't have a storefront, this is where people will be coming to see if they want to purchase your product. So it's always important that you have a clean and organized website. If you don't know how to build websites, I definitely suggest that you search it up on YouTube, how to build a Shopify website. There's great videos out there, but if you don't want to do that, you want to hire somebody, I got a guy named at Website Empire that can build your websites for super cheap but this will cut into your $200 budget a lot because he's gonna charge you $100 minimum to get the work done. But like I said, if you're working with this super tight budget, I definitely recommend that you watch a lot of YouTube videos and try to build that Shopify website yourself. On top of that website, you're going to need to have to select a domain name. I know a lot of you guys may be asking me, I actually seen this question earlier, is what is the best domain name to use for your actual clothing brand? And I'm gonna tell y'all right now, the best and cheapest domain name to use right now is a dot store domain. The reason that it is the best, first of all, is because people like Michelle Obama, Mr. Beast, and Christian Ronaldo are already taking advantage of a dot store domain. A dot store domain also tells your customers that are visiting the store that this is a store. This is not a company, but this is a store where you should come shop and spend your money. On top of that, a dot store domain attracts 87% more visitors to your website. Starting out, that extra boost that you can get in traffic is gonna be very, very important. And of course, when you get to running ads, they got a lot more stuff for you in that avenue as well. But this is the kicker, bro. This is the kick. You can get your dot store domain in the description for 99 cents with the very first link inside my bio. I got my own code that I'm helping y'all out with. Just click that link, get your dot store domain for 99 cents Instead of paying that $14 on Shopify, that's gonna also help your budget out a lot more. After you pretty much get that website set up and that sample is in production or about to be like actually finished, you are going to want to start working on your marketing. Since you don't have a lot of money, you are going to have to push out a lot of organic content. And that is perfectly fine, bro. When I started my clothing brand, I cannot tell you guys that I spent more than $100 on ads or any type of paid advertisement. I was posting a lot of organic videos and I blew up off strictly organic, so it definitely is possible. And if you guys don't know what organic marketing is, basically that's marketing your clothing brand for free. So make sure you create your brand, a TikTok account, an Instagram account, a Pinterest account, and a Twitter account. The reason I say these four platforms is because you want to get your brand everywhere. Where there is a screen, you want your brand to be seen. So on these platforms, there are certain things you gotta do to try to check out the algorithm to get you a lot more views, especially if you're starting out from zero followers, it could be a little hard. I'm about to plug y'all in with some game to help y'all check out those algorithms. Starting on TikTok, you're going to want to post highly engaging content. The thing about TikTok is people just get on the app to consume and scroll. So you wanna make sure that when you're posting videos on TikTok that they are captivating to the viewer within the first three seconds of the video. 
really not even the first three. The first one second of the video, you need to be doing something that captures the viewer attention. If you do not, the viewer will skip off the video and then you'll wonder why you're stuck in a 200 view jail. On top of that, you can also do something to encourage or incite emotions. If somebody feels a certain way about your video, they are likely to engage with it, leave a comment on it, and actually share it with other people. So there's certain things you can do, like maybe say, say something that's not supposed to be said. Maybe walk out with your feet out. Maybe walk on hot coals. Just something to get people on the edge of their seat to keep watching the video. As well as constantly being engaged with your audience, try to reply to every single comment. If you can't reply to it with a video, try to just reply to it in a text message because that will actually help out the algorithm a little bit more on TikTok. When it comes to Instagram, Reels right now are the best way to grow your clothing brand organically. When it comes to Instagram Reels, Instagram basically just promotes content that keeps viewers on the app. So if you can create some content on Instagram that is visually appealing, that people like, that keeps viewers on the app, Instagram will constantly promote that piece of content. So all you guys really have to go do is go look on Instagram, look on TikTok to see which content is working, figure out how you can take that concept with your brand and make it even better. And I guarantee you, you can start bringing in a lot of views organically. When it comes to Pinterest, I would just say you should just try to post some lifestyle photos. I haven't seen much retention or traffic to my brand from Pinterest, but I know that a lot of people take advantage of it. That's why I'm telling you guys to get on it. With Twitter as well, just try to post some stuff out there, see if it can get some views, see if it can get some likes. And if it doesn't, it's okay, because TikTok and Instagram needs to be your main platforms that the traffic is coming to your website. From. On top of those four ways to market, SMS marketing is going to be very, very important for you guys as well. SMS marketing is so important because basically what it allows you to do is create a set audience of people who is already interested in your clothing brand and allow you to directly target them anytime you want. So inside my SMS subscribers list, I got 16,000 people. So anytime I send them a message, at least 1,600 people are guaranteed to buy. Y'all can go set up y'all SMS with the app Postscript. If you guys need help with that, y'all can DM me on IG. Postscript is free to download, but when you start sending out messages, they're going to charge you a little less than a cent per message that you send out, but that should not affect your budget right now. You should only have paid for those two designs, that Shopify website, that domain, and that sample. On to step number six, which is also very, very important. Since you do not have a lot of money to invest, you are not going to be able to run a pre-made drop. Basically what a pre-made drop is, is when you order the bulk order in advance, and then you drop the clothes. What you're going to have to do is run a pre-order. A pre-order is the exact opposite. You launch the drop first, your customers order the product, and then you buy the products from your manufacturer, and of course, you keep the profit. To break that process even down a little bit more, basically what happens is, create your website, you do the marketing for the product, you launch the product, and then once you launch the product, you leave the website open for about three to four days and allow people to go and purchase it. Then you close the website down, after you close the website down, you send your manufacturer in the order information for the products that people order. You pay him his money, and then you make sure that you leave the money in the bank account. That's very, very important. Leave the money inside the bank account because you still gotta cover shipping and any random expenses that come by. But if you need a more in-depth explanation of that pre-order process, I definitely suggest you go watch one of my other videos. I don't wanna dive too deep into that, but you are definitely going to have to run a pre-order with your $200 budget. After you did your marketing and after you launched your pre-order, it's of course going to be time for you to go ahead and fulfill your orders. You're probably wondering, bro D, how am I gonna buy this shipping equipment if I don't have the money? That's why you run the pre-order prior to. So you use the profit from your pre-order to order you a label printer, labels, and poly mailers, and maybe some business cards if you even want to. These three products you can get from Shipping Empire Co. on Instagram. They sell that shipping bundle all in one for a discounted price if you wanna get your hands on that after the pre-order. But if you can't, go purchase the products individually. It don't gotta be the top-notch, best quality label printer or best quality poly mailers. It can be any poly mailer and any label printer and any four by six labels. And make sure that you use that pre-order money to purchase it because that's the only way it is going to fit into that $200 budget. Right? You also may be wondering how you plan to cover shipping for your products if you only got $200. That's why I said run the pre-orders first. So the thing about the pre-order method and the thing about Shopify is when a customer buys the product, 
your shipping price is included and they pay all that money out to you so all that money is going to hit your selected bank account that you put in your payout system and then you will basically have access to all that money of course you have to pay your manufacturer his percentage and then you should also use that money to cover the shipping for the product it shouldn't be no more than eight to ten dollars it may be a lot but honestly guys you got to ship out your orders regardless right also another really quick tip during that pre-order process make sure you stay very very updated with those customers People hate waiting, especially when they don't know what's going on or they're not familiar with the brand. So just starting out your brand, bro, make sure you keep great customer support. Make sure you're constantly responding to emails, constantly responding to DMs, because that's how you will keep people intact and engaged with your clothing. I feel like that was really, really, really quick, but I just basically gave y'all the gist of how to start a clothing brand with $200 to run y'all down the process really, really fast. First, you gotta knock out some your research. Second, you gotta go ahead and get your logo made. You can get that on Fiverr or from a designer, or you can go on Photo P and do it yourself. Third, you gotta get your first design and first mock-up made, Fiverr, designer, or do it yourself. Fourth, you gotta start working on that sample. Try to get that manufacturer to below $125 for whatever product it is. You only need one and you're gonna use that same one to go ahead and start your marketing process. But before that marketing process, Fifth, you need to start that website. You can set up that Shopify for one dollar a month, and you can use that domain for ninety-nine cents a month. And then you want to start your marketing process in step six. Step seven, you want to go ahead and run your pre-order. And step eight, you want to fulfill those orders. And step nine, you just want to make sure you manage that money right, man. Because if you do not manage that money right from the pre-order process, you are going to put yourself in a bigger loophole, in a bigger lump than you was when you even started. So you're going to be going from starting a brand with 200 to now trying to restart a brand after effing off the customer's money. So I definitely don't recommend that. But if y'all like the video, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. If y'all need more clothing brand help, y'all can click the link below that says mindedd.com. I got a mentorship. I got manufacturers, one-on-one -on -one calls. Basically, any assistance y'all need, y'all can find at mindedd.com. I just taught y'all how to basically start y'all clothing brand for $200, man. I love y'all. I'm going to tap in with y'all soon. I'm about to do a whole series on how to start your clothing brand step by step by step. So make sure y'all tune into each episode. I'm out.